let's look at how we can compute z-scores for raw data, for the raw uh, scores that we have for some variable. So in this example, we have information on the commute time with no traffic it takes for students to get from home to school. And so I have data for about 36 uh, students here. So let's, uh, let's first of all, put this into a table so it's easy to read. So I will select one cell in the data, go to insert, and uh, go to table. And it says that what it, uh, that range and my table has headers, yes. And there, now we have a, a, a table and with our, our data, so it's easier to read. Now, what we want to do is we want to create the um, z-scores. So I'm going to add another column here, and I'm going to call this uh, uh, z-score commute with, I'll just call it nt for no traffic. And we can maybe uh, widen it up a little bit there for with with no traffic. Okay, now we want to be able to calculate the, the z-score. Now, in order to calculate the z-score, we need the standard deviation and the mean for our data. Let's use the data analysis tool to calculate the standard deviation and the mean, which we need to calculate the z-score. So we go to data, data analysis, I choose descriptive statistics, okay, the range that I want is from D3 to D39, so I have that in the input range. I have column selected, labels in the first row. Now the output range, I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to give, go for G3 as the output range, and we want the summary statistics, so we press OK. All right, now let's uh, remove some of these crazy decimals. So I'll go to Home, and under the Number Format, I'll choose Number. Make this a little bigger so that we can read this. Let's highlight the information that we need. So here we have the mean, and here is the standard deviation. And now we want to use that information to compute the z-score for uh, each uh, um, uh, raw score that we have. So our equation for the z-score is going to be equal, and we're going to take our raw score in parentheses. That will be D4, the commute with no traffic. And what we want to do is we want to subtract the mean from it. And so that is over here, that's H5, but H5 isn't going to move, so we want to put dollar $H, dollar $5, close parentheses, and then we want to divide it by the standard deviation, which is over here, which is H9, but we need to put dollar signs in front of the H9 also, shift H, or dollar sign H, dollar sign 9, and that will give us um, a z-score for each of these, and we got the first one, and then I'm going to turn them on, overwrite all cells in this column with this formula, and then we have z-scores. Now it's, it's kind of a wall of numbers, so let's change, go to home, and change it to two decimal points, number, and there we have z-scores. And we have a z-score for each uh, one. So we can see that the long commute, 45 minutes, have a positive z-score. The short commute, it's 8 minutes, have uh, a negative z-score. And about 30 minutes has a z-score of just very close to zero. So it looks like the uh, average z-score is probably around like 25, 28 minutes, something like, uh, like that. And we have a z-score for everything. Now we could sort these. Um, go to the, the sorting from the smallest to the largest, and it sorts the z-scores there. So about minus 0.96 is the lowest, and we've got some real high ones here indicating that it's positively skewed, which you would expect because you can't have a 
you can't have uh, uh, negative commute times, but you can have extra long commute times. And so this is how we can, can uh, have calculated z-scores from raw scores.